Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. At the first glance, maybe it's very uh, familiar with you, and it, it's you seem you think it is a repetitious case. But believe me, up to the end, you will uh, learn a lot, and you get a very deep insight when you dealing with such case. Now let's go our case study. Here we have a patient around 60 years old with history of the lightheadedness and uh, one time faint. It has been sent to the echo. At the first view, you can see on the plaques. Beside of the those uh, clear and obvious pathology like the sclerosis on the mitral valve and the aortic valve and a little sigmoid uh, shape of the septum. What is the uh, abnormal and important alarming finding you can see on this? Uh, case and uh, when you are suspicious and you should be suspicious about that how you show it in your study and prove it that we have this uh, finding you put color on the mitral and aortic valve that area and you see this color doppler of course we can see mr how you differentiate it between functional and structural MR and how you show and prove uh, your uh, diagnosis or your findings. What modality you use and what technique and what you do in this step after this color doppler. You go to the PIS axis, mitral valve level, and you get this uh, compare uh, clip uh, between the 2D and color. On this uh, clip, do, do they finding those finding uh, correspond and similar to the finding on the plaques or not? And how you show and prove those finding in this view? You have to go extra study, not just plaques and color doppler. What those are and how you show it and prove it, the same as the plaques. Now you go apical four chamber view and you put color at that left ventricle all the way. You will see two abnormal color doppler, what those are first. Second, those important color doppler findings. How you prove uh, your finding? What should you do? And how to show it? Now, uh, based on the color doppler and those two color doppler findings, we go and put continuous doppler on the this level. And we get it, this spectral doppler, continuous doppler on this uh, case. How you can uh, prove it and show it those finding on color doppler and spectral and how differentiated those two from each other and what is your next step beside of uh, this four chamber, five chamber and continuous study and three chambers view and those doppler study beside of all those regular uh, study what extra study we have to do on this case. Now let's go to see each of those questions and answer step by step.